Hello friends, welcome back to QGIS Basics. In this video we will learn how to assign a domain name in a PostgreSQL database. Suppose we want to add a color, particular color to a road. We add a color column to the road layer which have fixed values such as red, green, blue, yellow. And our database will accept only these four values if we enter another value then it will show us an error so how to do this let's get started So first we have to right click on our database query tool click on query tool here we will write a command create domain here we write domain name color domain data type it's work at 10 check in check in value here we write the values red in single quote we have we have to write here check value in now it's correct so we click on run our domain created query returned successfully 37 millisecond we can check our domain in schema also in schema you click on refresh and here you will get domain name as color domain it will color domain check okay so now how to assign this domain to our road layer so that it can check these values so we have to create a column name color there for road so how to write that I just comment this line and now alter roads layer name add column color and data type color domain that's it and then after that I will click run Loads. I forgot something. Alter table. Roads. Uh, we have roads there. Roads. Okay. Now we have to write alter table roads. Add column color color domain. Now it will check the color with our color domain values. So now let's open the data in QGIS. Now we have a color layer, color column here. So it will check the data. You can check properties, its definition, data type, color domain. Okay. So let's test. Let's uh, open our data in QGIS. I'm just removing all layer and add only road layer. 
this is our road layer I'm just zooming it here I'm going to add it more I'm going to add color to this segment suppose this is green okay this is blue and if I uh, this is and this one is if I click on save the data is saved you can turn on the toggle editing also now I will enter the value which is not exist in domain name that is pink if I enter pink and click OK and then click save it will give me an error if I click show more this will show us the could not commit changes to layer road one attribute value changes not applied Post JS error while changing attribute value for domain color domain violates check constraints it will not apply here so we can't say this if I change its color to red then it will save and just close this and click on save now it's saved so this is how domain value can be entered if you want to add these domain values in drop down menu you can also do that and then I'll tell you how to do that just click on properties attribute form color on widget type you will select value map you can load data from layer also rows value of colors I had, we had entered three colors so you can get these three colors from here and rest you can enter from yourself and just click ok so here I will get I'll type one color left just type here description You already entered these values in your layer then it will take automatically from layer if you haven't entered any values then it will not take you have to enter that memory and click on ok now you will see there is a drop down menu if you click toggle editing then there will be a drop down menu this is how you can change the values here I hope you understand now if you one more thing if you want to change these colors of rows according to column color according to your color column then how to do that just click on properties click on symbology and on simple line here simple line and on color you have to data defined override here you have to select field string value color I'll select field type color for the color values and click apply you will see this is green value this is red and this one is blue if I make it more thick then you will easily get the colors thick and here you will see this is blue green red if I make change this road to yellow then you will see the change click on save you will see. this is how you can override your color symbology of a layer I hope you understand if you have any question please comment comment on this video I'll try to solve that. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.